They've been around for years, but over recent months, the Kidney Association of the Pacific, once known as the Guam Kidney Organization, has returned, this time re-energized to bring awareness to a growing problem on island. With four dialysis centers on Guam, Kidney Association of the Pacific member John Solace estimates there's roughly 240 island residents undergoing dialysis treatment. The uh, medical people are starting to see a, a, an alarming increase in the numbers of people that are needing dialysis and uh, needing uh, kidney, kidney uh, so activities. Now, at the present time, there are four kidney, four kidney centers on the island of Guam alone and uh, maybe two in, uh, two small ones in, in uh, Pohnpei and uh, Palau. But for the most part, Guam is the, uh, is the center for the Marianas and for the, for the Micronesia. To control the growing number of dialysis patients, the Kidney Association of the Pacific strives to educate the general public, families, end-stage renal disease and transplant patients about the kidney function, diet, treatments, health, and related matters through first-hand experience. As Solace reports, it's not always easy hearing it from your doctor's mouth on how to care for yourself once diagnosed. For me personally, uh, <laughs> 10 years ago I was told that I, I had all the indicators of a diabetic, diabetic, but I didn't listen to it. I love my crispy pata, I love my diet, I love my, my not the diet, but my, uh, my food. And as a result, uh, all that got me. So now at the age of 65, I have to get, have dialysis and I have to carry a tube that's inserted in my belly. And uh, four times a day, I have to do an exchange. So that uh, limits my life quite a bit. The association also hopes to rid the stigma the dialysis is a death sentence. The reality is dialysis patients are living longer. Reports show some up to 15 years. And the best news, the condition is controllable and preventable. People say, well, we can't be more active because uh, we're sick. Well, you're not sick. No, that's, on, that's only your mind. Uh, can, we, uh, can we be more visible in the community? Yes. Can we uh, do things for the, for the community? Yes. And you know, the, the things that we can do for the community would be to help them understand that this is not a sickness that we're dealing with, it's an illness. And an illness like anything else can be controlled if you take care of your medications and you follow your doctor's orders. Solace invites dialysis patients and their families to join the association. These, this is the kind of thing, it's not an epidemic, but we need to be able to create awareness that look, we got a problem, let's face up to it. If we all succeed in changing the community's ha health habits, if we change the habits toward diet, if we change the habits to exercise, we will have accomplished something major. We can't just let it happen. Health Check is presented by Island Cancer Center. The group meets once a month and hopes to amp up its participation in health fairs, as well as launch a newsletter and website. To join, contact them at 278 South Marine Drive, Suite 105, Tumuning, Guam, 96913.